Bakugan came to us in the form of a sketch from a gentleman by the name of Shelley Goldberg. The first thing we did was we took that sketch and we created uh, these prototypes. These are nothing like the Bakugan art today. We worked on it for a long time, but we didn't quite think we were there. We hadn't quite got it to the point where we felt, wow, this is just amazing, we're good to go. Renan in a meeting said, I think we should, we need something extra. I think it would be great to partner with a Japanese company and give it that anime manga flair. So on one of my trips over there, I presented it to Mr. Kokoban, who was a real toy legend. So we gave him the samples, and literally two months later, he came back to Japan, and they incorporated the whole pop-open transformation, the whole rolling it onto the card, and having the metal inside the card, and the whole point system. They took it from here to here. I turned to him and I said to him, well, what do you think about doing a 52-episode animation? And he said, yeah, sounds great. It will cost about $12 million, and you know, we'll come in for half. I said, well, okay, let me get back to you on that. <laughs> so we started talking about how Chorus and Nelvana could work with Spin Master to create a companion piece of television. They had a first prototype of the, the Bakugan magnetized ball, and in a split second, we agreed that we had something here that was gonna be pretty amazing. <laughs> Bakugan was a global franchise phenom. Bakugan was an extraordinary programming and media success. Bakugan gave us the ability to have characters, storyline, so it really launched us into the whole entertainment space. One of my very first days at the office, I had a meeting with Renan, and Renan looked at me and said, really what we need is, is for you to make the next Bakugan. So basically, can you just find the new billion dollar phenomenon worldwide? Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, we'll be there on the double. We went to the top five kind of creative forces in preschool around the world. And to Keith Chapman, who's the creator of Bob the Builder. Well, Spin Master had this amazing technology which, which they developed with Bakugan. I wanted to incorporate that technology into the show. When I came up with the idea of rescue dogs as the heroes, I think that was my eureka moment. It was something that was easy for kids to grasp. Heroic characters that they see every day, like a fireman, a policeman, and then the overlay of um, the innovation. They've got these incredible toy designers who invent these ways of uh, how toys can fly and how they can transform. And to see it in reality is really something. They have figured out a way to develop toys with inventors and then bring in great people to make stories around them. It really speaks to the essence of Spin Master, which is all about partnerships and finding the right people with different equities, but with the same vision in mind. Our future projects are great. They just can't come fast enough. They always want to push it further. They're wanting to produce the very best programs for kids. Spin Master really has become this global entertainment company and not just a toy company. We're just getting started. <laughs>